places here. Okay, radio on, throttle down. I just put my battery kind of in the middle of the, the area. Then plug it in. Tiny little connector. Get all this tucked in. You gotta bind your radio before it'll do anything, so get that stuff in there. So then you gotta move your throttle stick all the way up and all the way down. And now it should be bound up. <clears throat> There's really no way to tell until you start it up. So let's go ahead and put it down over here. So we'll start out with a little hovering like I did in the other video. Then we'll do some vertical hovering and then we'll try forward flight, which I have never done yet. So, here goes nothing. Whoop, I waited too long. A little wind, not bad, so it's going to drift a little. That's to be expected. You're going to want to come after this, probably, so you can see a little better. And it goes pretty fast. weather vane if you get enough speed. So we'll go over here and then we'll flip it into the vertical hover mode, which is this. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And it's got lights on the bottom. It has lights on the bottom. It's not super agile. If you got a little bit of wind, it's kind of tricky. But it'll flip and flop. You flip the switch again, boom, right back. Ooh. Pretty rad. Pretty cool thing. <laughs> Amazing how it does that. It doesn't lose any altitude. It's so cool. Yeah, that's really low to the ground. You're making me nervous there for a minute. <laughs> Tall grass, right? All right, so we'll get up here. And I'm going to flip it in air plane mode, which I have not done yet, and see what happens. And there it goes. That was smooth. Not bad. And I'm tracking it great out there. Come back around and see if I can bring it back into a hover. And now. Hey. Very nice. That was awesome. That thing's working great. That was awesome. Dude, I can tell by those little uh, pirouettes you're doing there that you're having fun. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, very cool. I like it. Here's full throttle. Oh, that thing's fast. That thing is quick. That thing's fast. I'm still tracking it, but that thing is quick. Wow. <laughs> Decent. It's not bad at all. This is cool. Then so we'll come around over here and then we'll flip it back into quad mode. I'll do it a little bit early because it takes a couple seconds for it. Flipping the switch now. <laughs> That does look fun. I'm a little jealous. We'll just I'll zip around here in quad so we kind of show you what's up. This is where I think it'd be really rad with the FPV camera on it. For sure. See the motor 
longer tilt forward when I push forward. I'm not sure exactly how it goes back. <laughs> Looks like it's a little bit. A little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it's like 80 degrees instead of 90. And it might be that back prop too doing something. It's a pretty cool little thing. For sure. Pretty cool little thing. Whoa. <laughs> All I saw was water behind it when you did that. Aileron's going on that one. A little bit of wind. I'm full forward on it. It's barely. Coming. Those lights look cool with that gray background. Very nice. Yeah, this thing is pretty fun, guys. For a hundred bucks, pretty rad. Only a hundred bucks. Wow. Only 100 bucks. Ready to fly, battery, everything. Everything. I didn't have to do anything but put some double A's in the transmitter. I'm just curious on the low voltage cutoff here. All right, yeah. what I'm waiting for. Is the lights start flashing to warn you or what? Yeah, keep it going, and I'll tell people, check the links in the description of the video to get one for yourself. Do a full throttle punch out. Probably use a little battery. Okay. Get a load of the ground here and then we'll boost it. That's full throttle? That's full throttle. That's actually good. Not like a quad power, but it's not a quad. Well, that'll keep people from getting into trouble. It's, it's predictable. That's a good thing. It's like predictable. So here is, let me get it lined up here. So we'll do, here's a full into the wind, full forward on 100% throw. Pretty fast. And that's quad mode. That's quad mode. That's quick for sure. We'll come back here, we'll put it in 80%. Here's 80% throw. So we'll go down here and do the same thing. See if we can tell the speed difference or not. Here's full forward. Still pretty fast. I can't tell the difference. Good run time on this baby though. Definitely. I appreciate it because this camera is getting heavy. <laughs> I'm feeling the burn and I don't mean the political kind. Of course, we could probably put this on a battery checker. Yeah, that works. Oh, that works for me. Come around to here and land on the road. And throttle fully down, don't touch anything, and it'll shut off on its own. Here we go. I'll review the footage and see how long of a flight that is, but let's put a checker on it and see what we get. Which I don't have in my pocket. But and guys, by the way, when I, when I say click on the links, John will have a link to this smart checker in there. Uh, we're not really into frills and, and BS, but this thing is really cool. It also has a servo tester component to it, so. You'll see the display. Twenty-four percent stuff. Pretty rad. That's good. That's a long flight time. You can calibrate smart batteries. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with that checker. Awesome. And that's a three-cell, thousand milliamp battery that comes with it. And there you go. All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. And John VH out.